Hello and welcome to another lecture based on vectors. Today we shall be discussing about vector algebra that would be including subtraction of two vectors. Later we are going to multiply vectors by scalars. Later we are going to discuss position vector of a given point. And finally we shall conclude this lecture based on vectors by discussing some numerical problems that would be based on the concepts. We are going to discuss in the coming segments of this lecture. So now we have already discussed about addition of two vectors. So now today we are going to discuss about the subtraction of two vectors. Now here let us consider two vectors which are given as vector A and vector B. The addition of these two vectors is obtained by the vector let's say O c which is equal to vector a plus vector b. Now in order to subtract these two vectors which are vector a and vector b, vector a minus vector b can be defined as the addition of vector a plus negative of vector b. Now we have produced the negative of vector b which is represented by let's say a b that means the negative of vector b can be represented as a b thus if we reverse the direction of vector b to get minus of vector b and add to it vector a by the use of triangle law or parallelogram law then we can obtain the subtraction of these two vectors as vector OB which is equal to vector A minus vector B. Next we are going to discuss the multiplication of vectors by scalars. For this let us consider a vector A and a scalar M which is a real number. Then M into vector A is defined as the vector whose magnitude is M times the modulus of vector A and whose direction is same as that of vector A if M is positive and opposite to that of vector A if M is negative. A geometric visualization of multiplication of a vector A by a scalar is shown here. Now here this vector represents vector A and half of vector A is represented by this vector whereas negative of twice of vector a that means minus 2 into a is represented by this vector in which we have the magnitude twice that of vector a and it this its direction is opposite to that of vector a. Thus the magnitude of the given vector is m times the modulus of vector a and its direction is same as that of a if m is positive and its direction is opposite to that of vector A if M is negative. Next we are going to discuss some properties of multiplication of vectors by scalars. We may write multiplication of a scalar M with vector A as multiplication of vector A with scalar M. Next we have M N into vector A is equal to M into scalar multiplication of vector a with n which is equal to n into scalar multiplication of vector a with m where m and n represent scalar quantities and a represent the vector quantity. The multiplication of 0 with a vector a is equal to null vector and the multiplication of vector a with 1 is equal to vector a itself and multiplication of minus 1 with vector a is equal to negative of that vector that is minus of vector a. If a cap is the unit vector in the direction of the proper vector a vector then a cap is equal to 1 divided by mod of vector a into vector a. Now we note here that 1 divided by vector a is a scalar quantity. Next we are going to discuss the position vector of a given point. For this let us consider the given vector OP. 
where the fixed point O is taken as the origin and point P is any point then vector OP is known as the position vector of the point P with respect to origin O. Here point P is called as the tip or end point of the position vector OP and O is called as the initial point. Next we are going to discuss the representation of a vector in terms of position vectors of its end points. For this let us consider vector P Q with initial point P and Q as its end point. Now let OP and OQ be the position vectors of points P and Q respectively. Now using triangle law in triangle OPQ we have vector OQ equal to vector OP plus vector PQ. This implies that vector PQ is equal to vector OQ minus vector OP. Therefore vector PQ is equal to the difference of position vector of Q and position vector of P. Next we are going to discuss certain problems that would be based on the concepts that we have discussed in this lecture. Now we have the problem that it states that prove by the vector method that the line segment joining the middle points of any two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and equal to half of it. For this let A, B and C be the vertices of the triangle and let vector A, vector B, vector C be the position vectors with reference to some arbitrary origin O. Now here let D, E be the midpoints of side AB and AC respectively. Now as D is the midpoint of side AB therefore its position vector is given as vector A plus vector B divided by 2. Similarly as E is the midpoint of vector AC therefore its position vector is given as vector A plus vector C divided by 2. Therefore vector DE is equal to position vector of E minus position vector of D. Now as evaluated we have the position vector of D and E and thus we have the vector DE as vector A plus C divided by 2 minus vector A plus vector B divided by 2 which is equal to vector C minus vector B divided by 2 which is equal to 1 by 2 vector BC. Hence DE is parallel to BC and one half of its magnitude. Thus we have proved as specified in the given problem. With this we conclude another lecture based on vectors which was based on the multiplication of vectors by scalars and representation of a vector in terms of its position vectors.